Good morning. Welcome to the Trucker Josh vlog page, where you can follow me and my best friend Diesel day by day as we travel across all of Canada and the United States. This is real reality TV coming at you on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button and follow our journey. It's a beautiful day in northern Minnesota. Canada is like right over there. But always that way. Morning, Weasel. How you doing? Come on, bud. Oh, you used all the steps today. Good boy. Good boy. I paid for all of them. I like it when you use them all. Most of the time he takes like two steps down onto the second step and just jumps down the rest of the way. How much frustrates me. I was like, oh, what's, this, what's the point of having steps if you're just going to jump down anyways? The steps are supposed to be there to save his back. It's getting old. He's going to be eight years old in August. And he's never had any health problems yet. He's been healthy as a horse. Is that the saying? Healthy as a horse? His whole life pretty much, knock on wood. But uh, since we had to take our other dog, Frankie, in for back surgery when he had his IVDD there. Uh, ever since then, we've been taking extra precautions to make sure that there's no extra strain on our other dog's backs. Right, Diesel? We don't need any more surgeries. Not only am I worried about that, it's just I want him to live as long as possible. He's my best bud. He's been with me for eight years now. For about 99% of it, right by my side pet area well diesel i think we're in the right spot there is our freight all of it that's it one generator all the way from wisconsin up to ontario fort francis ontario is where we're going yes it really is like a minivan Hood opens the same way. I always joke around, tell people I just drive an oversized minivan, because that's pretty much what the Volvos are. <laughs> Check the oil real quick. Plenty, I'd say. Truck's been off all night, so I trust that level. The engine's cold still. Let's change that, let's warm it up. Come on, baby, don't disappoint me. Don't disappoint me. There you are. You might be a big oversized minivan, but I still love you. Thank you for waking up for me this morning. We're coming up to the border here. This is uh, International Falls, Minnesota. On the other side of the border is Fort Francis, Ontario. I don't think I've ever crossed here before. In all my years driving, never crossed here. I have a couple of friends that uh, have crossed through here regularly and I remember them always telling me that they're crossing here and I never knew where that was. <laughs> now I can picture in my head what they're talking about when they say that. So well, apparently we're only like four kilometers away from my destination, which is in Canada. And we're still in the US. Here's the town, oh, okay. So I'm guessing there will be a bridge because there's a river between the countries here. Interesting. I called ahead and made sure that my paperwork was cleared to cross. So when I'm crossing at a new crossing that I'm not familiar with, I want to make sure that there's no hang-ups and that I don't embarrass myself and show up at the wrong ports or something. Interesting.
looks like a pretty big city here, actually. It's not just a little town. I think all of those, uh, it, all that industry you see in the background there, all those smokestacks and stuff, those chimneys, I think that's on the Canadian side. I think those are ours. Not too sure. What's the speed limit here? Am I speeding? No, I'm going the speed limit. Okay. The last thing I need is a speeding ticket. I haven't gotten a speeding ticket in oh, almost like 15 years, I think. Right? I'm 31 now. 21. Yeah, it's been almost 15 years. Wow, feels like just yesterday. <laughs> when I was younger, that's why I always tell you guys, you young guys who want to be truck drivers, the best advice I can give you is don't speed. Wear your seat belts. Don't drink and drive. These are all obvious things I'm sure that you already know, but big one is no speeding tickets. Those stayed on my license for five years and I had to wait for them to uh, be scrubbed off my driver's abstract. Now I have a squeaky clean driver's abstract, but for a while there it didn't look so good. That was 15 years ago. So don't speed. Okay, it's tempting. I know I've been there. I like going fast too, but you know, buy a snowmobile or buy a sport quad. That's what I did. 350 meters. Turn right on 3rd Street West, then turn left. When you're on public highways, you just have to follow the rules. As uh, boring as they make the drive, they are there for a reason. Which way do I go? I don't know where I'm going. Why are you parked here? You're confusing me. Are we going to turn here? East. I have no idea. Turn right on 3rd Street West, then turn left. No, those stacks I saw before are on the US side here in Minnesota. But off to the right there you see Canadian industry, so we both got industry on the river here. How do I... How do I get to Canada? It says to Canada this way. Bridge tolls? There's a toll? What? Cash only. Oh, great. Shoot. Now I gotta find an ATM. I should have known there would be a toll. There's always a toll to get across an international bridge. Such a pain though. Cash only. No credit cards, no debit cards, nothing. Cash only. I know you guys like me in America. Uh, it's okay, I, I like you too, but why do you gotta find me to leave? You wanna keep me that bad? Guess I can go park over there. Shoot! Okay. Oh yeah, this is my, uh, look at that. I gotta change my gauze pad. I put this on overnight. My poison oak, if you're wondering what that is. It's it's still gross. It's still just as nasty. Talked to you about it yesterday a little bit. we still got time. We're still on time. We'll be okay. I can literally look across the river and see where I gotta deliver this freight to, but I can't get there unless if I give them my money first. I feel so wanted, you know? I've never been, what are you dinging at me for? What? ding a -ling to you too. What are you dinging? There's a little train over there just ding a -ling in his horn. Go. Could have parked there. What? Okay, apparently, Freedom Gas Station has an ATM. Apparently. 
All right, so I'm parked in a little parking lot. I gotta go to the gas station across the street real quick. Guess that worked. Sixteen dollars to go across this little bridge. It isn't even that impressive. Sixteen bucks for this. Hashtag not impressed. In 350 meters, turn right on Church Street. I know, I'm like 400 meters from my destination right now. How do I... This is so weird. I think they need to redo this one. Build it somewhere <laughs> somewhere else. How do I get in here? Interesting. Okay. Oh, here we are. Here we are. Okay. <laughs> that is so interesting. This is my first ever time in Fort Francis, Ontario. That's amazing how close to the river and how close to the border everything is built here. <laughs> this is an old town. This town's been here a long time. And it's off the beaten path, that's why I've never been here. The only reason you'd be crossing here is if you're coming from this region, and I, I don't have a lot of freight that goes to or from this region. So it's neat for me to be able to see a new little Canadian town that I haven't seen before. It doesn't happen all the time anymore. <laughs> I've been to quite a few places. Well, we're here at another lumber yard. Lots of trees everywhere. It smells great. And there's our load. Taking that to Indiana. So now we're a little more relaxed, but we're still rushed. Still gonna be quite the rush getting to Indiana. We're going to Franklin, Indiana, which is just south of Indianapolis by the looks of it. I'm gonna quickly swing by home on the way past. We're gonna cross into Pembina, North Dakota. Got to pick up a few things at home that I forgot there. Kenora is a beautiful, beautiful little city. It's right on the lake. Apparently they have amazing uh, Canada Day fireworks here. I'll have to come check it out sometime. They do them right on the water.
This lumber behind me has to be in Indiana on Thursday, if possible, afternoon, because on Friday, I have a reload over in uh, Missouri. Oh, where, where in Missouri again? Joplin, Missouri? No. I forget where in Missouri. Pe oh, it starts with a P. P-E-V-E -E something. I'll tell you later. Look at that little Herbie in front of me here. Oh, old fashioned Herbie. Got a collector plate on it. That's nice. Nice shape. Any of you know who Herbie is? It's an old show. Look it up. See, I've got a load from uh, St. Not St. Joseph's. In Missouri, somewhere in Missouri. And that's taking me up to Fort McMurray, Alberta for next week. So I got quite a bit of work to do the next few days. Hopefully this poison oak sort of settles down. It's a lot worse. Like, I mean, it's. I keep saying this wrong. I keep saying it, it's not as bad as it looks. Like, it doesn't even itch. And I think it's supposed to itch, right? I'm sure it'll be gone in a few days. It's supposed to peak in about seven days tops. And uh, it could last up to two weeks max. So if it lasts more than two weeks, then I'll go see a doctor about it. Other than that, I'm not going to waste their time. Or if I start to develop more serious symptoms, like... Uh, serious symptoms. <laughs> you know what I mean. For now, I feel fine. I feel great. So just, I'm just going to let it work, work itself out. Let my body do its thing. My body, my body was designed to heal itself like this, so let's let it do its thing. If I had a weak immune system, I would be a little more concerned, but now nah, I'll be fine. I'm a stubborn man. What do you want? I'm not going to the doctor. Even though it's free. I'm still not going. Not unless I have to. This is Highway 75 southbound, headed towards the U.S. border. This turns into Interstate 29 when you get into the United States. There's still quite a bit of water around here. I think it's gone down from the last time I saw it. I hope it has. I always feel bad for these towns around here. There's some very old, historic French towns along the Red River here in southern Manitoba. Not just French towns. There's a lot of historic towns that get flooded out every year. So they had to build these big land dikes around their around their towns. Probably cost a fortune. Most of them built it during the flood of the century. That was in 1997. I still remember that. That was a bad one. Too bad we didn't have a carbon tax back then, eh? We could have stopped the flood of the century. Who knew all I had to do is throw my money into the air and it would fix everything, right? Good thing we're smarter now. No more floods of the century. There's a few parking spots left. There's two left on the other side of this guy who's backing in. So as long as nobody else rushes in while I'm waiting for this guy, we should have a parking spot tonight. As long as I can get into the spot, if you're worried about that, well, have faith. I'll get in there. Hurry, right, bud. You're doing a good job there, eh? You just back her on up, back her on up there. Give her, give her, bud. Oh, no, oh, yep, yep, you're good, you're good. Go on, go on. There you go, good boy. All right. I'm just gonna squeak past you here. Excusing me. And there's a spot off to the left here by the car hauler. There's two, one on each side of this car hauler here on the left. I'm parking one of these guys. I think I'm gonna go on the other side. This guy, this blue truck's got a reefer. No, thank you. This other guy, he's got a reefer? Nope. All right, we're going in there. Like a glove. Diesel. Hey. Oh, I can't see you there. You're impressed, right? Tell me you're impressed. Very nice maneuver maneuvering there, man. Very, very nice. Whatever you did there, I like it. Very nice. Can I have my treat now? Yes, you can. Absolutely. Only the good stuff for my good boy. Only the good stuff. Just because you complimented me. You flattered me. Flattery gets you everywhere in life. 
I don't know if that's true or not, but flattery definitely does get you treats. Thank you. Go on. You deserve it, buddy. You earned that. Thank you. Take it. It's that easy. Yep, there you go. You see, you give me compliments, you get treats. It's a fair and just system. So that's it for today, guys. That's it. That's it, that's all. What are we gonna do now? I'm gonna edit some videos. I'm gonna set up the table back there. I got a bunch of stuff that I gotta put away yet. I pack everything into you know, stuff there. Put that all away. We'll fold up the table. Bring out our computer from up there. I'm gonna edit some vlogs. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fun. I'm not gonna take you along for that part though, because I don't think you'll like that very much. You like this part better. To be honest, so do I. Uh, on a report though, my, my poison oak here is getting a lot better. It is pussing a lot less. Is pussing the right word to use? Oozing? Is that a better word? There's not really a word to describe it that isn't disgusting. So, uh, it's getting better. And all the little pieces, they're all going away. All going away. Everything. So my, my side here isn't even really itchy anymore now. And this has gotten a lot smaller just this evening. And it's drying up. So. Thank the Lord we're in the process of being healed. Look at this. Finally. Learned my lesson. Am I going to do it again? Absolutely. I'm not done transplanting trees. Next time I'm just going to take a different approach and be a little more careful. I might get it again. I get it very easily. As you can tell, my body really likes poison ivy and poison oak. It's uh, like its greatest friend or something. So thanks for watching today anyways, guys. I appreciate it. I really do. Thanks for all of your, uh, your comments down below. Thanks for liking the video. If you did like it, hit that thumbs up button. And if you really liked it, uh, the best thing you can do to support my channel is to hit that subscribe button. I ask you every day and you still haven't subscribed yet. Why? What's holding you back? What's holding you back? Hit that little bell if you want to get notifications too. We're trying to get the channel up to 100,000 and hey, it'd be great to have you part of the family. If you do subscribe, you get a little, uh, and hit the bell, you get a little, no little notification whenever I upload a new video. It's very exciting. Your phone goes ding, and then you get all excited and you look at your phone and you're like, oh, I have to sit down and watch Trucker Josh right now. It's exactly how it goes and it's very exciting and uh, I promise you'll, you'll like it. So subscribe and hit the bell. Because Trucker Josh told you so. That's why. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. I gotta go to bed. Well, I gotta edit and then go to bed. You get it. <laughs>